Okay, so welcome to this video. Let's move on and look at question number look at question number three. In the 2025 uh, GCE uh, biology paper two. Alright, so this is GCE by the way. So fig figure three represents three different models of gaseous exchange in different animals. Model one, model two, and model three. So carefully you are required to study these diagrams based on the information given. The arrows number one, they give you information. There's also the issue of tissues here and the issue of blood capillary. Uh, capillary. Meaning that you needed to recognize the type of uh, so the animal where that model is coming from. Which model represents gaseous exchange in human beings? Well, we have blood here. So that is model number one. Insects. Well, you see tissues, you go for insects. Oh, sorry. Model. Three. Give reasons for your answer in A by referring only to the models in figure 3. Now, this is why the problem with most of you uh, is you don't like answering according to how the question has phrased it, uh, how, how the question has been phrased. You want to answer in your own way. The question is clear by referring only to the models, meaning refer to the models only. So what are we saying here? So, when you talk of gaseous exchange, what comes in your mind? It's oxygen and carbon dioxide. Meaning, as you are explaining, refer to these two gases. On top of that, refer to the direction of the arrows. So, when you look at for human beings, which is model number one, look at how the arrows are going. The arrow going in, they carry oxygen. The arrows coming out, they carry carbon dioxide. So, let us explain in that manner. All right, and you can see that oxygen is being taken direct into the blood capillary, and uh, now the blood capillary is taking these to the tissues, which is not here, but of course we know that that is where it goes. So we are saying here, oxygen, okay, is uh, oxygen is being is being taken into uh the blood uh, to the what or the way to the tissues done what about for insects the one which is model number three look at how model number three is oxygen is going direct into the tissues which i already explained here so we are saying oxygen is being taken directly into the what the tissues this is one of the mechanisms that uh, differentiates the gaseous exchange in human beings and insects here it first goes into the blood then it goes to the tissues but for insects it goes straight into the tissues because there's no need of blood there c1 says which model in figure three uses water as a medium of transport for oxygen to the respiratory surface uses what water and of course this is only done for aquatic features like fish now which one is that it's this these are acting like gills you can see right these are acting like gills and there's only one channel of trans uh, transportation of these gases now these are acting like gill chambers or gills or respiratory surfaces so model number two uh, goes for that name one living organism which uses the model identified in c1 like i've said these look like gills or the gill filament i'll go for fish Stru suggest structures that aid when we say aid we mean that help all right movement of air in and out of model one now, sometimes we fail. Why? Because we don't know how to understand certain keywords. And once you miss that uh, word, you are gone. 
So, suggest structures, and here they're talking about the structures, in short, the structural features that help, all right, in the movement of air into and out in model one. In model one, we said they are human beings. So, which features in a human respiratory system help air to move in and out? Well, there are quite a lot, and I'm just going to give you a few. Number one, we have the diaphragm. Uh, the diaphragm. Uh, the other one, it is uh, the, 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 the ribs. You can also talk about the rib cage. The, ma the inter uh, in uh, internal and external intercostal muscles. You can mention in, the, in all those. What about in model number three? Okay. Mm -hmm. In model number three. Oh, which was uh, model number three? It says it's about the insect model number three. So in insects, we, we have mm, a lot. Uh, the, 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 we have the tracheosystem. Okay. We have the spiracles. Uh, we have, we have uh, um, also the muscles. You can mention it's just one here, but here they are looking for two. So, yeah. So basically, this is how question number three was supposed to be answered, and this was application type of question. Like I, like I, I, I always say, don't just master diagrams. No concepts behind these topics that you have been taught. Questions are not going to come in the same way as always, but others can come in the application form. Like I, or I have always said the. Content keeps on changing day by day into the application world. So get lead for that every time you are studying. Don't just master things the way they are. All right. So next we are going to go to question number four in the next revision. I'll see you later.